one last caller, and then we're going to do our rapid-fire round. Mark, welcome to the city. Good afternoon, Councilor. It's Mark Richardson. How are you doing? <laughs> well, Mark, welcome Great. back. Now, I, the first time I crossed the threshold of City Hall was six weeks ago, so I'm not a poverty pimp or a member of Occupy Toronto. And you're, you're, you're not G a professional not, pinko uh, protester? No, no, no. Marcus G. said nice things about me in his article, so I think... You know, we can all say that I think I've tried to reach out to all 45 councillors. I know you're short on time. Uh, I'd love to argue sometime the 40 and $60 cost per swim with the city. That's a total garbage number, and I'm happy to talk about that with you at some point later. Okay. But what I, but I, what I really want to talk about today is you guys voted against the $2 fee for outdoor pools. And your summertime pools average about two or 3,000 visits a day. So you're literally walking away from four to six thousand dollars worth of revenue. So you think that and was the, a bad move? And the argument for that was that we'd have to hire staff to count the money. If that is a valid argument that having to hire staff to count the money is a reason not to charge something, then the whole department needs to be rethought. And I'd love to hear your feedback on that. Okay, thank you very much, Mark. Um, very quickly, who would like to start? I think that was also the problem that we needed to spend a million dollars to create the infrastructure to collect the money plus the staff. And I think that um, the reason why this is voted down at this point in time is let's let's have a second look and see if there's a better way to do this. There's a lot of us that are talking about a card for recreational mm -hmm. services um, that that people can just put in the money and then it yeah. can be used for welcome policy and so on. So kind of so take, a, take, take a step back and let's see. How we'd like to move yeah, forward? Because if you have a card, it could all, uh, allow us to implement programs such as this one. So it was, it was. I, I think it was just okay. Let's spending a million dollars when we're thinking of bringing in the card, maybe it's not a good deal right now. Josh Cole. Josh Cole, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can yeah. you hear me, Josh? Yes, I can. Mark, Mark makes a good point and has uh, brought a, a good uh, perspective to the council proceedings, and that we have to look at the cost of some of the programs we offer and provide. But I just think that you know we do pay taxes for some things, and I think. Uh, I just don't believe in charging a dollar a swim. Uh, I mean, I, I understand that if we have, you know, a ball hockey program or a knitting class or whatever it might be, that we've got to re reflect the prices on those and make sure they're in the range with our uh, neighbor municipalities. But I just don't think um, charging a kid two bucks to get into a pool that, you know, property taxpayers have already paid for is, is right. Uh, Mary Margaret, very, very quickly, if you would. Yeah. No, thank you very much, Mark. You've done a phenomenal job with uh opening our eyes with uh, different municipalities, Kingston paying, what, f was it $15 an hour for a ball hockey? Um, I, I know I pay $59 for nine weeks for my daughter to take swimming lessons uh, in the city programs. It's, it's um, you know, something I can look at. You know, as Anna said about the card, I can afford to pay more, so maybe I should be paying more. And uh, But the outdoor swim, yeah, I mean, we, we it's a life-saving saving skill. We want our kids to be able to swim outside. Um it needs to be looked at later. Okay, now rapid fire. Uh, in a couple weeks, the city could legally lock out our outdoor workers, QP416. We don't know if that'll affect other unions like our indoor workers if they decide to perhaps out of solidarity also uh, walk out to the picket line. Uh, Mary Margaret, um, do you believe that council needs to take action? Should we see how things go? Where are you at uh, with all this? Communication is key, and I just hope everyone is, is continuing to be open and engaging at the table. Anna, quickly. Um, same thing. I, I'm just hoping that the, the Labor Relations Committee continue to do their work with the unions. They're sitting at the table. Torontonians want them to sit at the table and uh, to deal with this without a strike or a lockout. Josh Cole. Get a deal done. Residents don't want to live through this again. I don't. Everyone will wear it and get blamed. Let's just get a deal done. You're right. I mean, I'm on the same page with you all. I want them to get into a hotel room, lock the door, pour the coffee, don't come out until it's finished. Exactly. Because we're all going to be uh, getting calls from our constituents very upset if they're not getting their, their services.